What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So I know a lot of you guys out there, especially new investors, don't really know where to get started when it comes to investing. Maybe you heard about stocks and crypto and maybe even something like NFTs, but you don't really know exactly where to go when to start. So this video is going to be for you guys because I found myself in a similar situation a few years back before I started investing and I've made so many mistakes. So this video really comes down to my own experience and of course not going to be financial advice. But hopefully if it helps you guys get in the right direction, then my job will be done. So if you guys want to see all that, stay tuned and you guys already know, cue that intro. So the first thing to know when you start investing is why are you investing? And it's a simple answer and all it really should be is I want to put in some money now so that will be worth a lot more in the future. And that's the whole ideology behind investing. Of course, there's different forms of investing where there's long term investing and short term investing. And really what it comes down to at the end of the day is do you want to be a trader, try to make some money as quick as possible, or do you want to build wealth over the long term? And I can't answer this for you guys. It's totally up to yourself, whether you want to be a day trader and make money right away or a long term investor or maybe somewhere in the middle. No matter what path you decide to take, whether it's day trading or investing in the long term, it's definitely a great idea to get started. So let me show you guys different platforms that I use that can help you get started. So first off, we got Webull over here and Webull is a little bit more complicated and the good thing about that is if you start off with a more complicated route or a more complicated platform, you'll learn so much more than if you start off with an easier thing like Robinhood, for example. I mean, here's my Robinhood account. It's very simple to trade. Like, I'll show you exactly how very easy it is. All you got to do is find a stock, you know, put in the amount of dollars or shares that you want to buy. And we'll just put in, I don't know, two shares, review order, and boom. Right now, of course, I don't have enough buying power or and the market is not open, but it's that simple to be able to do. Now, on the flip side of things, if we look at Webull, it's, it looks a lot more complicated. You know, we have to put in order limits or market limits, the quantity, and just the overall appeal of Webull looks a little bit funky compared to Robinhood. But the reason why I think this is such a great platform is because they have something over here called paper trading. And paper trading is a way to get your feet wet without actually having to put in your real money. Now, if you're a beginning trader and you've never had the chance or opportunity to trade or buy stocks and sell them, then I think paper trading is great because you can kind of get the feeling. Of course, you don't get the same feeling with your real money, but at the same time, you can kind of test it out and see where you're good at trading. I kind of, when I first started, just dove straight in, lost ton of money. You know what I mean? This happens to a ton of people out there. And in fact, I wouldn't even say trading is the best thing out there, but to a lot of people, it's fun. And well, we'll just keep it at that. But anyways, as you guys can see here, my market value or my net account value is at 1.6 mil. You can pretty much start off with any amount that you want. Of course, if you want to be more realistic, start off with $100 in your paper trading account and kind of just buy whatever stocks you think will do well. Kind of see if you can time the market and just kind of mess around. Of course, it's going to give you valuable experience, but there's nothing like having your own real money inside of it. But paper trading is definitely great. Another reason why I'd say Webull is great is because it comes with a lot of different tools that Robinhood doesn't have. I mean, we have these charts over here that you can kind of mess around and you know if you want to get into chart reading definitely Webull will help you with that just because it looks a little bit more appealing than a robin hood candlestick chart i mean let's take it let's take a look over here and usually i use my phone so i don't really get to see it but anyways i can't even pull it up over here there it is we can do the candlesticks so here it is over here and of course on the phone this looks a little bit different and same thing with Webull but you still get the same type of feel when it comes to Webull whether you're using desktop or using the phone but nonetheless Webull definitely gives a lot more tools and resources that will help you in the long term it might be a little bit complicated at first but just kind of messing around on paper trade will definitely help you out so if you're a new day trader out there definitely use Webull and I'll leave a link in the description just in case you guys want to sign up I think we'll both get free stock so just got to put that out there you feel me 
anyways, that's one side of things when it comes to day trading. Let's take a look at what it means to be a long-term investor. Next up is long-term investing. And personally, I love long-term investing because it's very easy to do and anyone can do it. There's so many different types of strategies out there and ways to invest. For example, you can do a dividend portfolio where eventually you can live off of your dividends and retire and become financially independent. And I have a whole video on that where I go into more debt, so I'll leave a link up here. Or you can pick a bunch of growth stocks and just, you know, build your positions and eventually when you're done building your wealth you can sell out or you can continue to hold it and have those nice amount of shares and then maybe live off the dividends there or just liquidate everything and then peace out you know what i mean or you can just choose a bunch of etfs either way no matter which way you go it's very easy to do especially with m1 finance where you build these things called pies so i'll show you that quickly so this is my dividend portfolio pie and inside this pie, I have these things called slices. So these are different sectors. So we'll hop into the tech sector. And then these are the stocks that I have. So this slice makes up maybe six stocks, one ETF and five stocks, and then so on. on. All I do is invest in the same stocks over and over again every single week with dollar cost averaging. M1 Finance is great because you can build your own pie. You can copy pies. If you go in the link in my description, you can see my pie and then you can literally copy that. Not saying you have to or not saying that you should, just saying how very easy and simple it is to do so and that's also why i like m1 finance because all you got to do is build a pie of your favorite stocks and then just dollar cost averaging to them every single week so much less work compared to day trading and that's why long-term investing is great so if you're a new investor and thinking of wanting to start long-term investing whether it's a dividend portfolio growth portfolio or you're just fund investing into, inside of some etfs m1 finance is great for that and i'll leave a link in the description as well as over here for a video that you could learn more about M1 Finance. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't give you any financial advice. So take this with a grain of salt. But really, in my opinion, and the way that I kind of started was, I started off with Acorns, which basically is robo investing. So at that point, it really just taught me how to invest every single week and kind of get that dollar cost average thing going. So I'd take about $20 and $25 and just put that into ETFs every single week with Acorns. And then eventually I evolved into picking my own stocks and that's where I got this dividend growth portfolio. So from that point on, I would pick out the stocks, like for example, we'll go to the consumer pie that I have, Nike, Pepsi, Target. These are all high quality companies that I knew of, as well as ones that have a great dividend growth, which I don't wanna go into too much detail in this video. Again, definitely watch that video I linked earlier to kind of explain a little bit more about what this strategy is but anyways i went from picking etfs to stocks when i felt a lot more comfortable and that's definitely the route i would take again not financial advice but if you're a new investor is definitely one that you can go go from etfs and then as you learn more and more and become more comfortable with investing then maybe do your own research on some stocks that you are know are great quality companies and you know will do well in the future and they align with your time goals your time horizon goals and whatnot so that's exactly what i did and so far this portfolio has been doing pretty well if we go ahead and look at the dividend growth over time this portfolio started off with $500 and of course I've been investing every single week. I believe with this portfolio I started with $50 then 75 then 100 and 150 every single week. And then I mean it's growing over time. It's not only growing from the gains but also from me contributing to this portfolio and that's how I'm building wealth and that's why I really like long-term investing. Now if you want to trade stocks and maybe one day even options I would highly recommend, and again, not financial advice, going on Webull because they have tons of different tools and resources to help you grow your own knowledge when it comes to day trading. I mean, just look at this chart. It's very, very cool. And the way that you can learn from this is great, especially if you use this platform or this feature, paper trading inside of the Webull platform. Because again, I know it's not real money, but it does give you invaluable experience. I mean, just find a stock, you know, whatever the Twitter gurus or pretty much anyone's tweeting about on stock tweets or whatnot. And you don't have to worry about losing real money and kind of just, you don't even have to paper trade. Just kind of just see where the trends are going, learn about the macro trends, what's going on in the economy, what's going on in the news. But at the same time, look at the smaller things like, okay, this chart, this is a double top, something like that. You know what I mean? Head and shoulders, learn all those chart patterns. And personally myself, I suck at day trading. And that's why I'm leaning more towards long-term investing because it's super easy for me. But again, this paper account, this paper trading is really fun. I believe Webull even has competitions and I really think it's great. I mean, there's no way in hell I'm going to start off with $1.6 million in this, this, this paper trading account. But at the same time, it really taught me 
okay, maybe day trading is not for me. Maybe you'll learn this as well. Or maybe you find out you're actually really good at this. And then maybe you want to put in some real money before you actually test things out. Maybe you lose a lot in the beginning with paper trading, but then you keep doing it over and over again. And then you eventually become really good at paper trading. So you want to try your hand at actual day trading. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know if you guys like this video. If you're a new investor, good luck to you. I mean, it all starts somewhere. You can ask pretty much any of the investors out there that have been trading or investing for the longest time ever. They've made tons of mistakes, including myself. I mean, I've made so many and I still make mistakes to the day. But at the end of the day, you got to start somewhere. And once you start, you'll make mistakes, but then you'll learn from that. And one quote I want to end this video off with is, you never really lose money in the stock market. All you really do is pay for expensive lessons. So if you make a mistake and you lost some money, well, that's just a lesson. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. It means a lot to me if you guys subscribe and stick around. But anyways, that's it. Peace out, guys. And remember, everybody eats.